Ah, we got another sexy flexi tool coming your way. My friends, this is the all new DeWalt 60 volt seven and a quarter circular saw. At the time of this video, you can't even buy them in the store. But today's video, we're gonna go from head to toe over this saw. We're gonna talk about all the specs. We're gonna use and abuse. We're gonna slice it. We're gonna dice it. We're gonna let you know everything you wanna know about this saw. But I'm gonna tell you now, you're probably going to be pleasantly surprised. So let's get this thing going. Listen, this is a kit, and for the price of this saw, you sure do get a whole heck of a lot. Now, DeWalt, I'm not gonna lie, they're my favorite saw. We did the worm drive challenge, the tool duels, and they beat every single worm drive style saw out there. This is no different. This is an excellent, excellent addition to their saw lineup. Let's take a look at some of the specs, shall we? 5,800 RPM blade diameter, seven and a quarter bevel capacity. You're looking at zero to 57 degrees. The arbor size, 5 eighths of an inch. Depth of cut at 45 degrees. You're looking at 1 and 7 eighths of an inch. The depth of 90, you're looking at 2 9 16 of an inch. Tool weight, you're only looking at 8.2 pounds. We'll talk about that here in a bit. And then the warranty, you're looking at three years. But this is a kit for $2.99 at the time of the video. This is what you're getting. You're getting a bag. You're getting the charger. We'll talk about that charger here in a bit. You're going to get a 9AH 60 volt battery. I thought it was going to come with like a 6.0, but it's not. It's the 9 inch. But the 6 amp charger, this is the new charger from the wall that they are putting in the bag for you. So that was a nice surprise. And of course, you get the DeWalt saw with the blade. Yep, the blade comes with it. Now, the first thing I wanted to look at when I was using this saw was the depth adjustment and the bevel. A lot of times on a good saw, you'll get some really crappy adjustments. Not on this, extremely smooth on the depth adjustment. So easy to make in the lockdown lever. It's easy to use, easy to reach. Really, really happy with that. And for the bevel, you get the positive stops. For some reason, a lot of other manufacturers, they're cheaping out on the positive stops, but not the DeWalt. This has them. And I might add, they work real nice like. You got one at the 15 degrees, one at the 22 and a half degrees, one at the 45 degree, and one at the 57 degree. Every time I used it, it locked in perfectly, didn't wiggle, didn't wobble. I locked it down and it was ready to cut. You can put a guy fence right here. It does not come with one. Would have liked to have seen that, but nope. As for the shoe and the guard, looks like magnesium, feels like magnesium. I'm going with magnesium. The numbering system on here is a little bit dull, blends into the metal, so a little bit harder to see. Would have liked to have seen some paint in those, but you can always add that yourself if you wanted to. As for your line of sight, it's not bad. It's not the best, but that guard is a little bit prominent, so you might have to veer to the right a little bit while you're cutting. But the one thing I really want to stress on the saw is, man, that build quality is freaking awesome. It's just like any other DeWalt tool that you're going to grab. It's going to be awesome in the hands it's going to feel great it's going to last and that's really what i liked about this now you do have the dust chute on the right hand side we'll see how that works here in a bit and the rafter hook will also put that to the test it's a little bit small so will it work out i don't know we'll have to see and you also have that sweet sweet led light right up in the front that's going to help you see where you're cutting but enough of me yapping let's get this going let's check out the blade break stop super super quick No jumping around when you pull that trigger. It just starts right up, man. This thing is beastly, I'm telling you. 2,456 watts out on this thing. Just to give you an idea of how powerful this saw is, that is 47% more power than the DCS575. So if you thought that was a good saw, now you ain't seen nothing yet. Let's slice and dice. All right, let's make a couple more cuts. Let's move it to a different angle. So the guard catching a little bit going up over top of that wood, but let's try the dust extraction. The MDF, oh, there he is. The MDF is the devil devil. I mean, look at him go. MDF really is the devil. All right, let's see what that dust extraction does. All 
All right, let's try a different angle for you. So the only time I really struggled with the dust extraction was with the MDF and well, the MDF is the devil, so I understand that, but here's the deal. It works well with every other cut of wood. I'll show you that here in a second. We are going to test the power here on a treated six by six piece of wood. Let's see how it does. We're gonna use and abuse, slice and dice. Beastly. Now, mind you, I'm right-handed. I'm trying to get the camera angle for you. So, yeah, if I'm staying a little weird, sorry. Oh, man, this thing has so much freaking power. And here's what's really strange. The saw is so light. It doesn't feel like when you pick this up, it's going to be able to do that. But check it out. Really happy to see that that dust extraction is able to keep up with all that wood being spit out where other saws, they were not able to do that. Now it's time for the plunge cut. Woo-wee! Just so beastly. You know, and even with that Monster 60 volt battery on the back, this thing is balanced really well, but it's still light. So the 60 volt is gonna add a couple more pounds to the saw. You're gonna bring it up to about maybe 11, 12 pounds, but I'm gonna tell you what, this thing, I was not expecting it to be as powerful as it is. Would have been nice to see that dust extractor attachment in the box, that wasn't there. But really the only other negative that I have on this saw is sometimes that guard will hang up a little bit as you're going up over top. It's not that big of a deal, but it's there, I'm just letting you know. Other than that, the comfort on this saw is really, really just awesome. It feels so good, it's so freaking light. I honestly, honestly did not expect this thing to have as much power. It just rips through freaking everything. And the rafter hook actually works very well, I didn't think that that smaller rafter hook would work, but it does. You also got the onboard storage wrench, goes right underneath like so. And I'm telling you, definitely check this thing out. It is a powerful, powerful saw, but it's light, it's compact. They just did a really, really good job on this saw, and that is probably the reason why the Waltz are my favorite saws. So I'll leave a link in the description below for this saw. If this video has helped you in any single way, please don't forget to smash that like button, get subscribed, hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any cool tools coming your way. So leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about the saw. What did you like about it? What don't you like about it? I always like hearing your feedback. I appreciate you stopping by. We'll be back with more videos soon.